Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Leptotrix species and its correlation with Trichomonas vaginalis and other infection. What is Leptotrix? Have you guys heard this before? Common cell organism is a shattered elemental spectrum generally found in different types of aquatic environment. From other journals by Van der Weyde 2002, Leptotrix is found in a groundwater sea. Leptotrixia is isolated from the oral cavity and is mainly found in bacterial biofilm also from the vagina and the uterus of pregnant women. Next, from others journal on 2008 stated that Leptotrix is from Leptotrichia buccalis, which is gram-negative bacteria, non spore forming and live as an anaerobic organism. They occur as a very thin, large, filamentous structure in oral and vaginal cavities. About 80% cases that contain Leptotrix actually associated with Trichomonas vaginalis infection, but also can associate it with other organisms such as Candida and Ganerella vaginalis. For morphology of Leptotrix vaginalis, it is gram-positive anaerobic growth from the same family of Lactobacillus, and it is non-branching, segmented, and narrow thin. It also can form grayish mucoid masses, which is slightly deposited on slightly inflamed mucous membrane, and for the length, it ranges around 45 to 70 micron. Dodelin bacillus is a gram-positive lactic acid growth, and most of the characteristic is nearly the same as Leptotrix. So, what makes both of these organisms different? The most significant difference that we can observe is from their biochemical properties and also from their length. In our reading, Leptotrix species usually presents in trichomoniasis, bacterial vaginosis, and lactobacillosis. As you can see from the graph, Leptotrix species mostly presents in trichomoniasis, followed by Dodelin bacillus, fungal, or bacterial infection. This is caused by the change in physiology feature in patient body. Presence of Leptotrix is commonly associated with Trichomonas vaginalis infection. It is usually referred as spaghetti and meatballs due to their morphological appearance. Trichomonas vaginalis get the meatballs while Leptotrix get the spaghetti. Based on our research, we assume that Trichomonas vaginalis create an alkaline pH environment suitable for Leptotrix. This is because, after colonization, Trichomonas modify the vaginal environment including fall in Lactobacilli and create a pH greater than 4.5 that support its further growth and proliferation. Fall in Lactobacilli might due to Trichomonas vaginalis mediated Lactobacilli phagocytosis that destabilize and challenge the host protective environment. Besides that, Trichomonas is an organism that obligates parasite, so it lacks the ability to synthesize many micromolecules de novo, so it will acquire through phagocytosis of host and bacterial cell, which is Lactobacilli. This will create a pH favor to Leptotrix growth. However, we cannot say this is the reason why Leptotrix is associated in Trichomonasis, since Leptotrix's role in Trichomonas vaginalis growth modulation remains elusive. Mm. Do you guys know why there is no explanation in the correlation between the presence of Leptotrix species in Trichomonas vaginalis infection? From our reading, the reason behind it is because the research on this organism is still rare, and that is why the microbiological identity and physiology of Leptotrix species is still unclear. For bacterial vaginosis, the clinical entity whose exact origin is unknown. Bacterial vaginosis can be defined as a shift in normal vaginal flora from aerobic, predominantly but not exclusively lactobacilli, to a predominantly anaerobic flora characterize the condition. The anaerobic species include anaerococcus, etopobium, carnarella, and lactotrichia. This shift raises the vaginal pH above 4.5 and leads to the onset of bacterial vaginosis, which also a favorable growth pH for lactotrix. Besides that, lactotrix is an anaerobic which explains why it might present in bacterial vaginosis. And lastly, based on our reading, Ventolini state that lactotrix may be present in lactobacillosis infection. They do not conclude that lactobacillosis is caused by other lactobacilli organisms. It is because the presence of abundance and extremely longer lactobacilli in a range between 40 and 75 microns in length. But unfortunately, the etiology of this organism is still unknown with the same reason stated before. On the journal, Ventolinis conclude that is the reason why lactobacillosis should be differentiated from candidiasis, bacterial vaginosis, and satellitic vaginosis. Management of infection Lactobacillosis the alternative regime is for people who have allergic to its penicillin class of antibiotics. Trichomoniasis The alternative regime which is dinidazole, it is way more expensive compared to metronidazole, but it gives fewer gastrointestinal side effects. Bacterial vaginosis Okay next, uh, most of the article we read state that Lactotrich was a bacteria, but one of the articles state it was a fungi. So that's the reason why we suggest to do the SDA, which is several dextrose agar test, to differentiate between fungi and bacteria. So um, let's see more detail about this test. So SDA is a selective medium for fungi and yeast. And the principle of this test is basically about in the medium, we have pectone and dextrose. So these two will provide nutrient for the growth of fungi, while acidic pH and the presence of antibiotic will inhibit the growth of bacteria. So that's the reason why SDA test is a common test used to differentiate between fungi and bacteria. Okay, so for the result, if the test show the positive result, it will show the growth of fungi on the agar like small surface colonies and white and creamy colonies present on the agar. 
but negative result will show no growth at all on the agar. As a conclusion, commonly every association have a correlation, but in leptotrich cases, the correlation of this organism with Trichomonas vaginalis and other infection is still unknown. It shows that we are still facing challenge in figure out what is the role of leptotrichs play in vagina because lack of specific research and also studies. So in the future, more research and discovery should be done and conducted to make a better diagnostic assessment.